Welcome, everybody. Appreciate you being here today on this Wellness and Weight Loss Wednesday episode of the Cabral Concept. Today's show is dedicated to the new Triple G weight loss drug that has now been released. It is far more potent than the previous GLP weight loss drugs that I'll be speaking about. You may have already started to hear about these. They are quite effective. I've done a previous podcast on them, and I also talked about their side effects. So I'm going to link up that podcast today just because I don't want to, if you already listen to the show, which I hope you are doing each and every day, I don't want to repeat that. So for people that haven't listened to the previous weight loss drugs like that of Ozempic, then I'm going to re-link that up here today. All the show notes, the three big takeaways, as well as the research will be at stephencabral.com slash 2749. Again, everything we talk about on this show is well-researched so that you don't have to comb through all of the data yourself. Plus, I try to serve as an unbiased source for this. I just told you that there is a conventional medicine drug that does work for weight loss, right? But on the same, at the same token, I'm going to share with you, it doesn't look at underlying root cause issues for that weight gain in the first place, and there are side effects. Will you get some of those side effects? Most likely some of them, but hopefully not all, because these weight loss drugs just have now a newfound side effect. Now they've been on the market for, well, they've always been, they've been used now for more than a decade for uh, diabetes, but now they're being basically off-label used instead of diabetes for weight loss. And not just obesity, but actually for people trying to lose just like 20 pounds, which is the most dangerous uh, use of it since I'll just cut right to the chase. This is not the the major side effect that I'll be talking about later, Uh, but people are losing not just body fat, but they're losing muscle, tendon, ligament mass. You might say, no big deal. I just want to look thinner. I think we have to be careful of that. The reason is, is that you're going for short-term results right now with devastating long-term consequences of lowering your metabolism over time. So if you can only eat 1,600 calories a day now without gaining weight, well, after taking these drugs, it's probably going to be down to like 1,300 or 1,400. And then if you ever eat more calories than that, you're going to start to gain the weight back because you're actually losing muscle mass. So I think we have to be careful, especially using these drugs without any exercise, meaning weightlifting. So uh, cardiovascular, I'm I'm a huge fan of it more so now than I've ever been, uh, but you can't forget to weight train two to three days a week, especially if you're taking these weight loss drugs. If not, you're going to be stripping your body of muscle mass. And since you're already losing, especially for women, a half a pound of body mass every single year after the age of about 27, that goes from bone mass too, not a half a pound, but you're losing bone after that time too, unless you're weight training. So there's a million reasons why to weight train. I know a lot of people don't like to do it because it's hard, right? Like you have to lift weights, like you have to lift things and I get it, I understand, but I'm telling you right now, um, if you're going to use specific weight loss drugs like this, please combine it with good nutrition, not starvation-based nutrition, and weight training. It's just super important. Get your steps in, get your walking in, get your cardio in, but you have to get that weight training in. All right, let's share with you now this new Triple G drug. I'll tell you the name of it, but I'll also tell you why it's called Triple G drug. So, the two drugs that I spoke about on my last podcast, you should check it out. It's important to understand like well-rounded where we're coming from, how these are continuing to improve. It's called Ozempic and it was called Wegovy. There's others out there. I think it's like Bajorno, something like that is another one, which has been shown to even be maybe a little bit more uh, efficacious than those two. So these were developed as type 2 diabetes-based drugs. Uh, they're mimicking the actions of what's called GLP-1, which is a hormone that suppresses appetite and it slows stomach emptying. So a lot of people don't know what this means. This is actually super uh, important. So what it does is that you have hormones in your body called leptin and ghrelin. And so what you're looking to do is optimize those so that your body says, oh, we're satisfied. We're satiated. We're not starving. Let's burn body fat as fuel. And, and like some people do a much better job at that, right? They're called ectomorphs. And some people do a worse job than that. And they're called endomorphs. Ayurvedic medicine knew this 6,000 years ago. They called them vatas or they called them uh, endo, uh, they called them uh, kaphas instead of the endomorphs. And then just like, it's just a category. It's not like, you're not, one's not good and one's not bad. I, I have lots of shows on Ayurvedic medicine. If you'd like to check those out, I could talk about the pros and cons of each body type and you're simply trying to stay in balance. And, you know, that's why we talk about something called dynamic equilibrium. The body's always in a state of flux. 
works and the body's then job is to stay balanced. When we become out of balance because of deficiencies and toxicities that I've wrote about in the rain barrel effect, that's when the body gets sick. And, and really, uh, being 50, 100 pounds overweight is a, a sickness to the body. And again, I'm sensitive to this. I understand that. I've been working with clients to help them achieve their ideal body weight, not an ideal body weight for anybody else, but theirs over 25 years now. Like I've done this a long time and I'm very sensitive to that. I get it. I understand different types of people. Some people have slower metabolism. It's harder for them. It's not so easy as just saying eat less, exercise more. I get that. And that's why, again, that's why I do these shows on each Wednesday as well. So let me go on though. Um, what happens is that you, you feel more satiated. So you don't feel like you need to eat as much. That's what these weight loss drugs do. But the second is that it slows the food from emptying out of your stomach. That's a dangerous thing in the long run. And I'm about to, I'll share that towards the end of the show. Okay. So, uh, Munjaro, sorry, I think I, was, I forget what the name I said earlier was, but Munjaro is another type two diabetes one. It mimics GLP one and GIP, which is another digestive hormone. So that one's actually been shown to be a little bit more effective than the first class. And these aren't even the first class, but we'll call them the first class off label, which was a Zempic and Wegovy. So then you have something called Munjaro, uh, M O U N J A R O. All right. So there's a new kid in town, though, that has actually been shown to get even better results. So like people who were using Ozempic were getting about like 15 pound, 15 percent of body weight loss uh, in about the same trial, which is like almost a year, like 12 months, 48 weeks is how they looked at it. So 15% of their body weight. Now, if you, you think about that, you know, if you're 200 pounds, you lost 30 pounds. And so it's significant. Like it's, it's significant. And that's, that's no joke. 30 pounds without doing anything except taking this drug. It's pretty remarkable. I'm not going to say that it's not, but of course, now that this works, um, pharmaceutical makers are going to start to say, what else could work? What could work even better, right? Well, if people, if this works better, more people will, more doctors will prescribe this drug, more people will take it, will make more money. So the new kid in town, which is called Triple G, and we'll, we'll go into that, is retitutratide. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. I'm not a pharmacologist. I'm not a pharmaceutical producer, but it's R E T A. T R U T I D E. So um, what I do is I read the research. I get alerts to my computer all the time with all the new research that I'm interested in. Uh, I comb PubMed. I comb Google Scholar. Um, I used I use AI based artificial intelligence to actually scan scholarly docu uh, scholarly based documents to see what the latest research is. So like I'm all in, and this is what I love to do. But I don't know the pronunciation of that. So just let you know, don't, don't, you may want to look this up online. I honestly just don't care to, but Reta, Reta True Tide. We'll just go with that for now. And someone can protect, correct my pronunciation, which I'm totally fine with. Or Rita True Tide. Uh, it was developed by uh, Eli Lilly, I'm pretty sure. And it mimics the GLP-1 and GIP from the Manjaro, but it also has the hormone glucagon. So glucagon breaks down the stored glycogen, right? And so it's allowing that to be liberated from the body. And so that's where it gets its triple G name from GLP-1, GIP plus glucagon. So uh, really important. Again, I just want you to have the background to this. So instead of now, Ozempic and Wegovy working on one action or Munjaro working on two actions, uh, Rita Trutide, that's a, that's a fun way to say it. We'll say it like that. Now works on three actions, triple G. I don't, don't, don't get me wrong. There's probably going to be a fourth one in the future as well. But in clinical trials, over 48 weeks, it helped people lose 24% of their body weight. And for some people, they lost almost 60 pounds in 48 weeks. So if you're doing the math, you're getting what now? Another 9% body weight loss over the same period of time. So those people that, uh, let's say you're 200 pounds, you're getting what now almost, well, let's, let's do the math on that. Is it 28 pounds? Let's just see. 200 pounds times uh, 0.24. We're getting 48, 48 pounds. That's remarkable right? So 48 pounds of weight loss. And of course, the person who lost up to 60 pounds, they were, of course, heavier than 200 pounds. So you can see that these drugs are just continuing to get stronger and stronger. But what the studies don't share with you is that this is not all body fat. 
people are losing muscle mass, tendon, ligament, potentially even bone as well. And so I see this as a major red flag for future metabolic issues. You don't want to lose muscle mass. You can want to lose body fat. I'm okay with that. But you don't want to lose muscle mass because you need your muscles for strength and balance, stability as you get older. You need it to be able to move through space, uh, lift heavy things, keep your bone mass on your body, and muscle is very metabolically active. It allows you to burn more calories on a daily basis. If you strip away muscle mass, you have to eat less calories then going forward forever. And it's harder to build muscle mass after the age of about 30 years old, certainly after 36, 40 years old. So giving this drug to people in their 50s and 60s and they're not weight training, it's a recipe for disaster. Now, I said I'd share with you now that this drug's been out and used for off-label um, use, which means instead of just type 2 diabetes being used for weight loss, I want to share with you what they found. So these um, semaglutide-based medications, Ozempic, Wegovy, et cetera, they are causing the stomach to empty slower. This is called gastro paresis. It essentially translates to paralysis of the stomach, causing people to end up with what's called cyclic vomiting syndrome. That just means they're vomiting all the time, especially after meals. Why would that be doing that? Because the stomach is not going to hurt itself or the body. If it can't digest food, it's going to throw it up. And now these people are getting malnourished. They can't get the food down. And it's leading to bloating and gas and, and people just feeling constantly full. There's an entire article um, on a news site. I'm not even going to name the news site because, you know, all of a sudden when you name a news site, it's like one camp is like, oh, we'll never read anything on that website. And the other camp has said, oh, well, let me check it out. So I, I, honestly, I'm only after the truth, so I don't care too much. Um, but there's a bunch of stories, and these are not one-offs. It's not every individual who went through, who are going through massive pain because of this gastroparesis or stomach paralysis, and they are not able to overcome it, and they're having to take other drugs now just to be able to get the food down and into their stomach. I share this with you because there is no free lunch, as they say. Everything comes at a cost. My greatest recommendation to you is to try to do everything the natural route first. Find the underlying root causes to whether you're dealing with autoimmune issues, headaches, skin rashes, weight gain, weight loss, etc. If you've never read The Rain Barrel Effect, check it out. I literally give the book away for free now. You can find that at stephencabral.com. There are hundreds of weight loss podcasts. They're all free at stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. So if you can, again, I urge you, I, I implore you to try to go the natural route first. You're going to save yourself potential side effects in the long run, and you have the satisfaction, the confidence, and now the, the belief into how to keep the weight off for life without having to continue to then to drastically reduce your calories every single year just to keep up. So hopefully the show was helpful today. I appreciate you. I thank you. If the show was helpful, do feel free to share this show with any when you believe it could serve. Take care, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow. Talk with you then. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.